The Realme Band, you've seen it in my teaser video already and I'm even giving away three of these. But today, let's take a closer look at the features that it offers. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and if you do end up liking what you see here, please subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. Here it is, the tiny little Realme Band box. Once more, we have some of the branding to the front and sides, well, the back. It is reserved for the spec highlights and some more information. We have the black variant of the Realme Band here. Enough about the box though. Let's cut it open and see what's on the inside. First up, we have a quick start guide and well, nothing else other than the band itself. Peeling the screen protector off and there it is, the Realme Band. Here's how it looks next to the Mi Band 4 to give you guys some perspective. Anyway, that's all we get in the box. For this video, let's start with the app side of things. The Realme Link is the app that we're going to use to pair the Realme Band to a smartphone. So once you create a Realme account and pair your band, this is what you'd see. Tapping it shows us the basic information, the battery percentage, number of steps walked, sleep and heart rate information and so on. Now if you've seen my other video on the Realme Band, you know most of this information can be accessed from the Realme Band itself. The default watch face shows us the number of steps walked, the battery and connection status and of course the time. Tapping this settings cog takes us one level in. Here we can switch between watch faces. The choices right now are kind of limited and there doesn't seem to be any option for community made watch faces. This is something I'm sure Realme could add via a future update, but will they? Only time will tell. The next options, they're pretty self-explanatory. If you want incoming call notifications, tap on it and then provide a Realme link, the relevant permissions. The same goes for idle alert. This basically enables the Realme band to notify you once an hour if you sit idle for way too long. So it's kind of a reminder to walk. Then we have the alarm clock, message notifications and a strangely customizable drink reminder to stay hydrated. Now the message notifications, it's handled quite well. Given this is a 0.96 inch color panel with a 80 by 160 pixel resolution, the text is sharp enough. The one touch capacitive key here, it mutes the notification vibration. Long pressing disconnects the call when it's incoming. It is worth mentioning that the vibration motor, it's pretty strong here. It managed to grab our attention even when we were busy at work. That said, there are a couple of cons worth mentioning. One, this the display tech here is the FT LCD. No, that's not a con. The fact that it's not quite as bright or vivid as OLED, that is. Uh, and the Mi Band 4 has an OLED panel. Additionally, the only way to control the brightness of the Realme Band is via the Realme Link app. And that seems to be a kind of an over oversight here given we definitely need to change brightness levels on the fly when outdoors and coming back indoors. Now coming to the app, the heart rate monitor can be set to either automatically measure the heart rate or only measure uh, if manually asked for to conserve battery. There's a do not disturb mode, which I'm sure you know how it works. You know, it's D&D &D after all. Then there is a sports mode. This one's pretty interesting. Now the Realme band wouldn't really be a fitness band without having some health monitoring apps, right? As we saw in the last video, it can track cricket, yoga and treadmill and actually six other activities too. But it can only track three at a time. So the three you wanna track, the three activities that you mostly do, you can choose it here. And you can even set the band to auto detect and monitor these activities if you wanna. This three activity limit should be fine for most people, but the reason why it exists is the same reason why some functions like swapping watch faces and changing brightness levels are available only via the link app. We just have two actions available to us on this band, a single tap or a longer tap of this capacitive touch button. And there's only so much that we can do with it. And that's the reason why Realme's kept things simple and they've not gone with branching menus. Anyway, coming back to the app, we can set a step goal, rotate the screen if you wanna, change the units from metric to imperial and vice versa, change the first day of the week, share data with Google Fit, and of course update firmware and reboot the tracker from here. So that's pretty much it for the Realme Link app. A few more things to note, the Realme Band has IP68 certification, but it doesn't have an option to measure swimming related activities. So if you're into swimming, this is probably not the tracker for you. 
The rest live to wake, it works very well. The 90 milliamp hour battery inside Realme says it should last anywhere between 6 to 9 days depending on what functions are enabled. As per our initial testing, we'd say the Realme Band should last 7 days, even with a ton of notifications, heart rate detection on auto and lift to wake enabled. Now while on the topic of battery, uh, see this USB marking here, just pull that strap out and you get the USB connector exposed. The band can be charged by plugging it into pretty much any USB port. It's super convenient because this means we don't have to carry around any proprietary charging hardware. But what does that mean for the longevity of the strap? That is something we've got to wait and see. Only time's gonna tell how this actually works out. Is the strap gonna get loose eventually? We don't know right now. Now to know more about the physical aspects of the Realme Band, do check out my previous video. Here's a card to it. And by the way, like I said at the start, I am giving away three Realme Bands. I'll leave a link to the giveaway in the description below. Do check it out if you haven't yet. And uh, coming back, uh, Realme is offering three color variants here. The one we have, black, then there's green and yellow. Realme is also promising an over-the-air update that would add cloud multi-dial, uh, weather forecast and support for multiple languages to the Realme Band. So, you know, that's basically everything you need to know about the Realme Band and I guess I know what you're thinking now. Should you go for the Realme Band or pay extra and get the Mi Band 4? If you're just asking me which is the better, better fitness tracker, I'm gonna have to say it's the Mi Band 4. It is the superior tracker. No doubt about it, but it also happens to be priced more than 50% higher. So it's priced higher, so it is expected to be better. If you're gonna spend 2300 rupees, then definitely get the Mi Band 4. But at the 1500 rupee price point, the Realme Band seems to do really well. Uh, it's got some standout features like cricket tracking and the USB charging that the competition doesn't. And if you're on a budget and you wanna pick, some, pick a fitness tracker up at 1500 rupees, this is something you definitely can consider. So that's about it guys. Uh, what do you think about the Realme Band? Would you buy it for 1500 rupees? Or would you spend something more and get say the Mi Band 4? Also, what are the most important features for you in a budget fitness tracker? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this video and it is time I bid you adieu. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.